This computer terminal provides full access to the LCARS computer net. Alright guys, welcome to the Arrow Cars ADV subspace channel. Welcome aboard. Well, got a brand new FSC 250E here. So uh, we just got it home, so let's uh let's get her out of the box. Let's free her from her slumber. Alright, what do we got here? Ta-da! Ooh, she looks very sexy. Oh, there's a the dog over there. Oh, yeah. I love this year that it comes with the black engine. I like that. It looks so much sexier. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's start unboxing this thing. All right, the FSE 250E. So let's get going, put this thing together, and let's, let's, let's get her finished here. So, so we're going to start here and get the handlebars on. We're going to do this... Hopefully a little more efficiently than we did the last time. Um, this is my third GPX bike. So hopefully uh, we're a little better at it this time. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll see. No guarantees here. So these bikes, uh, seems like every model year, every change, um, they get better and better, you know. Um, I mean, they got the TSC over there. It's a 2019. Um, that had a lot more build and setup to do. I mean, you had to hook up the, the swing arm even and uh, the rear tire and all. I mean, it was quite a bit more involved with that. And um, But it's nice to see GPX is really, really uh, refining the process here, so, which is nice. But so, as I said, this is my third bike. So I got the uh, TSE there. I had the FSE 300R, and now the FSE 250E. All right, now we're gonna do the um, brake on these. As I said, we're just getting the stuff kind of lightly fitted so we can fool around with it all later. Just so we can get the, the bars on and then we can uh, get a hold of the bike to, uh, you know, take it off its little cradle there. And then... Yeah, it's interesting to see all the uh, refinements though, but all right, so we're just gonna Yeah, temporarily get this stuff on here just so we can Work with the bike Yeah, so once we get everything kind of basically You know situated then we can fine-tune everything later. There's a lot of a Few bolts and stuff you want to lock tight, you know, I'll try to point out some of them um, later on in the video we want to do is get this on a stand to make it easier to get the front wheel on and all that stuff. She's on a stand now, a little easier to work with here. And for my purposes, I'm going to remove this uh, number plate here because I don't use that. Alright, so yeah, we're going to also install the, uh, in the front fender too. We're also going to want to lock tight these. Just a little bit. Yeah, so with this, uh, 
you know, what I'm doing here is the setup process that pretty much uh, any deer pike's gonna come like, you know, doesn't matter what brand they are, it's just they're gonna come just like this, and you're basically taking on the setup process. Um, you can buy it, buy them from a dealer if you want, you know, I think it'll cost you a little more, but not a crazy amount. Um, Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I kind of like putting them together and stuff, but I suppose it would be nice to have it set up, too, from a dealer. Um, closest one to me is Bon Joe's in Grand Island, New York. Actually, I would have bought it from him, um, but he didn't have any in stock, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is the setup process, basically. Just going through the bike and doing what any other dealer would do on any other bike. So I'm pretty... Uh, pretty stoked about this bike the front wheel on now so look at that look in there uh, the grease is blue so it looks like they use some marine grease in there which is nice so let's uh, stick that on there huh so it looks like it's nice look at that a little discard right there that's nice Put our spacers in. Before you put the wheel on, obviously, is uh, put your, uh, your brake caliper on the right way. You know, switch it around from the factory for shipping purposes. As you can see, it's, you know, these aren't terribly involved, you know, if you can turn a wrench, you can put one of these bikes together. I think the, one of the toughest parts is uh, dialing in the carburetor, if it's, you know, not right from the factory, you know, the jetting. Um, but other than that, you know, if you can turn a wrench, you can put one of these bikes together. Alright, so... These already do have a little bit of thread locker on, but we're going to put a little more on. Definitely want to lock tight these. Lock tight is your friend. Yeah, so for you guys that don't know, all you know, all the bikes that I've had before, so just so you know. I have to compare to. I've owned two Sierra 250Ls, a Hawk 250, a DRZ 400, um, TSE 250R behind me, FSE 300R, and now this. So by far the uh, GPX bikes are my favorite. Um, close second is the the DRZ. 400 great bike um but where for i live i don't think it's a what i want or need because if i live down the open out west that'd be a great dual sport to have but um out here in tight woods and it's just a bit too heavy and and uh yeah just not the not the right bike for what type of riding i do and where i live so we're going to put our wheel on now since we have our brake on. Let's see if we can get it all lined up or something here. Shouldn't have to force it through. I gotta 
nice little rubber mallet to kind of just gently, gently convince it. All right. I just convinced it to go on, which is nice. I'm going to kind of temporarily, you know, just tighten these up just a, a little bit. Um, there is a procedure to do this. There is a special way to tighten these up. Uh, we'll, we'll do that in the final setup. Oh, we're just getting stuff kind of roughed in here. And then, um, look at that, nice little discard. That's, that's pretty nice, they give you a nice discard now, that's pretty sweet. GPX always updating their stuff, which is good to see. As far as mods to this bike, uh, I think the only thing I really plan on doing is putting that Joe Hunter new flywheel key on, and then um, uh, maybe a different carb. We'll see. Um, and maybe I'll have Joe Hunter port the head maybe this winter. We'll, we'll see. Not really dying. I want to see what the bike's capable of stock. We'll go from there. I'm definitely putting the flywheel key on. I already have that here, so we're not going to... We're going to put that on later, though, after we uh, break the bike in and stuff. That way I can do a review on it. You guys can watch that video and enjoy, hopefully. Put the headlight on next. Um, as I was saying before, a uh, little improvement GPX makes. Um, I had that 2021 FSC 300 R, and... Um, yeah, I mean, even since then, there's been slight improvements uh, just in the the wiring and all that stuff and the horn. And I mean, it's just it's just interesting to, to see it progress. So anyways, we're going to, you know, put the signals on here and uh, get the headlight all ready to plug in here. And we're going to do that next. So here we go. Let's stick the battery in there so I can uh, see, um, you know, which colors are which for the uh, turn signals. So let's find out here so your green obviously is ground so just go into one side of it and then uh let's see which one's which huh all right so it appears that the blue is the right turn signal which i have them backwards on there <laughs> so blue is the right turn signal and orange is the left turn signal. You gotta get some dielectric grease there too and uh, you know grease up your stuff so protects it from water and stuff and obviously the conditions that we all ride in you know it gets a little moist sometimes so nothing wrong with protecting our stuff here all right then we take our light and uh, you know it's pretty obvious uh, you know which goes where though you know it's all pretty uh this one and this one here so just find the right plug for it and plug it in oh there goes the light there and then we got our little um i think that's brown yep that's the colors that'd be our running lights i believe oh look at that we got light see we got left right all right and just so we're clear uh the uh orange coming from the harness is your left blue is your right green is your ground then we got our horn which is these two right here and that should plug right in all right and we should have a horn wherever it might be Oh, yeah, we got the horn there. All right. So, yeah. Uh, so, and this one right here, this black and green, is going to be your starter button right there. So, we'll plug that in. We'll get our nicey nice. Now that, even so another, I found another improvement here. So, um, 
last year the 21s didn't have a high low so you look at that and the horn connection that's new so that's refined there um, yeah it just makes it a lot easier to put together so the, I'm just noticing little refinements here and there so that's really good so this is why GPX is not your typical Chinese bike stereotype here so always make an improvement so it's good to see um, again I'd like to point out take some dielectric grease and grease up all your connections here just protect them from the water and moisture and stuff so all right let's get this headlight on finally Woo yeah I don't want to kind of tuck in your uh, speedo cable in there too don't forget to do that because then you'll have to do it all over again <laughs> so uh, yeah Of course, I already did it backwards, so, uh, okay. So now I have to take off my uh, <laughs> signal and route that speedo cable the right way. All right, let's do that again. Our headlight on now, and our wire's kind of pretty close to where we want them here. Uh, you're going to have to just kind of finagle with your wires here and get them organized here. But they're on. Got your little straps right there. Hold on, so I might as well... Uh, um, set up our bars now and actually that's pretty close to where it's supposed to be I think not quite but close just kind of line it up get the zero where that may be in the middle there get it lined up there I think we're pretty close Oop. yeah 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 just get the zero in the middle there I think that's where it goes and I just wanted to uh, kind of reiterate here that um, you know you are uh, taking advice from some idiot off the internet, so I just wanted to reiterate that. As we're going to torque our um, triple clamps here, that is important to torque them correctly. So I'll grab your torque wrench, and what's nice here is it says how much to torque them. So the top one here is 17 newton meters, the bottom one is 12 newton meters. It says right on there, so we're gonna go with that. So we'll uh. It's very important that, you know, you torque them right because it does affect your uh, suspension. Torque those uh, triple clamps, so now we're going to take it out the stand and now we're going to align our forks for the front wheel. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and align our uh, forks here. So start from the uh, right side and just kind of snug these guys right here you don't got to torque it yet all right now this side you do got to torque um i want to say it's a uh, 45 newton meters i want to say let's, let's try that oh, i got the sniffles So I'll tighten this uh, this guy right here. Um, actually, I do like to put a little bit of a uh, thread lock on that. All right. torque that down we can now torque down uh, this guy here the uh, as soon as I find my there it is all right I believe these are 12 I believe 12 newton meters somewhere around there let's see here 
Harbor Freight torque wrench. I like it. It's pretty nice if you ask me. Torque those. We come over back over to the other side and loosen these guys back up here. All right. And then grab a front brake and uh, start compressing your forks. Do it a bunch of times. All right. Should be nice smooth action. Let it down nice and easy so the forks don't get misaligned here. And then come back over. Torque away. So you got those all torqued up nice. So you know when you when you compress that, it shouldn't stick at all. It's nice smooth action. So it's important that you uh do that process there for these, you know, KTM Husqvarna type, uh, you know, forks and stuff. So, otherwise that you'll have some binding in your suspension. Very important to torque your triple clamps correctly too. And then, uh, let's move on to the next step. Is let's torque the rear now. So, usually I like to, uh, you know, get some calipers and kind of make sure they're kind of aligned. Before I do anything so I believe the rear is 80 Newton meters right around there so uh, I'm gonna see how much they had in the factory sometimes the factories have a uh, over tendency of uh, over tightening stuff all right rear is torqued all right, let's go to the next step is let's get some oil on that air filter. That filter and I'm going to give this no toil filter oil a go and rim grease courtesy of uh, Back Out Bob. So yeah, Back Out Bob felt sorry for me and he decided to send me these. So thanks Back Out Bob. Anyways, if you guys don't know, he likes to back out of rides all the time. Hey, you want to go to Utah, Bob? Oh, yeah, that sounds great. That's my, my bucket list. Let's do it. Oh, no, I can't go. Okay, thanks. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to give this a go. Bob says it's great. What we're going to do is we're going to drain that garbage Chinese oil out of there and put some Rotella T4 in there for the break-in. I need to take the skid plate off. That's okay. We need to get some Loctite on that anyways. So that's okay. There we go. Looks like a 17 millimeter for the drain. So yeah, drain all that out of there. I'm pretty sure it takes a quart, um, but we'll find out in a minute here. Right now, I hope you guys can see it. I got a GoPro on my hat here, but there is another bolt with a where the screen goes. Um, so take that out after your break in, get your clutch plates all broken in, and then uh, when you change your oil soon after, um, clean out that screen. But yeah, right after your clutch plates are broken in, uh, clutch plates are broken in. That's when you should dump that oil and put some fresh oil. So don't. Don't put a ton of miles on the bike uh, in the braking oil. Change out is I probably will get a magnetic uh, uh, drain bolt at some point and put that in there. Those are always a good idea to have. So I'll probably will change that out eventually. Shy of a quart is the magic number. So again, Rotality 4 for the break-in. I probably will at some point switch over to T6, which is the synthetic. But for the break-in, we'll use some dyno oil. We're ready for the first um, startup here. So all we got left really is uh, the rear turn signals and the uh, brake light. But we'll put that on after the uh, first break in here. But uh, pour some fuel in it. Let's uh, get our own. Then uh, <clears throat> I don't know if we need the joke or not. 
Oh, there's the choke. All right, I was looking for it. There we go. All right, let's wheel her out here. Start right up. First uh, engine break in successful here. Just went up and down the road for a little bit. Um, sorry, I got the sniffles here middle of summer who gets a cold right um, so we got to put the uh, rear um, brake light on and then uh, it does come with the uh, regular style turn signals uh, they're LEDs but uh, I prefer these uh, trailer markers here they are awesome because when you dump your bike what's the first thing that breaks off rear turn signals every single time so you put these on there um, they don't break off anymore uh, the only thing is you just need to uh, remount the hole a little bigger so they go in the hole and they it's a grommet so boom sticks in but uh, anyways I'm going to uh, get these ready to install on this bike and then we'll find the wiring for all this stuff. The wiring is behind the right side cover so you got the seat off and the cover off and there's all our wires there for all our lights and stuff so we're going to hook that stuff up. You're probably going to have to uh, loosen that bottom um, fender thingamajiggy there to route the wires and keep them tucked in. All right, signals installed, wires all tucked in nice, and there is all the wiring. Not too bad, huh? Probably want to go through our spokes, just go through and uh, snug them all. Put them in bed, S tuck them in, snug them. Well, I believe that's it. Um, it does come with, uh, you know, a full dual sport kit, all the, you know, lights and mirrors and everything you need there. Um, I don't use the mirrors that came with it. I use the double take mirrors. They're a lot nicer, uh, adjustable, really nice and adjustable. Plus, if you fall, they, you know, they just knock out of the way and then they don't break or nothing. The, the double take mirrors, totally recommend those. Um, the only thing I plan on changing is getting rid of these hand guards, get full wrap around ones. Um, the uh, Cerebees, Cherubies, Cerebees, Cherubies, whatever. A Cherubies uh, X Factory or, yeah, X Factory guards. I think those are the ones that have a really nice fit on these bikes. Uh, no bending required, they just fit nice. Uh, I already have those, I'm going to put those on. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I'm going to put tubeless in the rear and um, definitely going to do that. I'm going to keep these tires for a little bit. Uh, front tire is actually really good. Back tire is back tires pretty average. It's okay, but you do put tubeless in it. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty. This is pretty easy uh, put together here as far as I'm concerned. It just got easier and easier. Every year, this gets easier. Um, really. Uh, impressed with the uh, GPX uh, quality um, all the parts look really nice um, fit and finish is really nice uh, a couple upgrades this year which is nice um, really loving the black uh, this year and um, yeah I'm really really happy this went to well, went together very well so tips are you just lock tight go through the bike and check every bolt lock tight things that are, you know calipers and and um your triple clamps just loctite stuff you know i'm um, not you know triple clamps don't necessarily need them but you know but just check stuff and stuff that could vibrate loose put some loctite on it just go through the bike it'll pay off and um get that garbage chinese oil out of there put some good oil in there and break it in dump it after uh you know an hour or two and put some fresh oil in there and then um plan on uh Shorted up this fuel line here. That's a little ridiculous there. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, probably going to have to uh, probably dial in the carb here at some point. Uh, that's future. Uh, but we got it together. Not too bad. I hope you guys, I hope this helped you guys a lot. And um, if you could turn a wrench, you could put together GPX bikes. Um, or you just get one from a dealer already put together. Whatever. It's all good. These are great bikes. And, uh, like I said, hope this helped. All right, guys, live long and ride.